Hey, what's up you guys? Raylo here from kidneypuncher.com. Today I'm going to bring you another installment of our KP Vape class. So what this one's going to be talking about is say you've used your device and all of a sudden it's not powering on. It's not working. You're hitting your fire button. Nothing's working. It just seems like your device is dead. You have fresh batteries in there, but for some reason it's just not working. Well, a common culprit of that is because your contacts are dirty or possibly even your batteries themselves have a little bit of gunk buildup on either side. So let's go ahead and dive down up close and I'll show you a couple easy tricks to keep your batteries and your battery contacts in top condition so that way you don't experience any issues with your device. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a very, very well used Cuboid 150 watt by Joytech. So this is actually one of my favorite devices. As you can clearly see, I used and abused her very, very hard. Well, I had run into issues where I'd put my batteries in and it wasn't firing. I couldn't figure out what was wrong. So a really easy fix can be found right here at the end of a pencil. Yes, a pencil eraser. So let's show you. You pop this down. And as you can clearly see, my contacts are just completely filthy, just completely annihilated. So easy way to fix this is you take your eraser and just kind of run it along your contacts. And you can see the tip of that pencil is now all covered in that junk. Next step is I'll take a rag or paper towel and then I'll just wipe off the little excess residue that's on there and give it a nice polish. So now, as you can see, my contacts are completely clean. And the other benefit of this, because yes, I could have just used the paper towel and wiped this off, right? Well, how are you going to get all the way down in there and clean those contacts? That's where the pencil comes in handy. You can just go in there and hit your contacts a little bit with the eraser and you'll get nice, clean contacts. So now, Go ahead and put your batteries back in your device. And it should turn on perfectly and work perfectly. Now this is the same thing with the mechanical. So let me show you that real quick. So I have a well patinaed, well used copper mod right here. And if you're using a mechanical mod, this is absolutely necessary in my personal opinion. So what you want to do is take your pins out. So you take your pin out and this is also pretty much patinaed out a little bit and it needs a little bit of love. Now, if you're doing this, might as well polish your whole entire mod. If you're using a mechanical, polishing your mod is always a very important step and helps to keep voltage drop down and keep your device firing perfectly and at the optimal voltage that you get off your battery. But if you don't have any copper polish, which I do suggest you should have if you're using a copper mod, but you can always just take it and run it back and forth with a little bit of pressure on a rag or soft cloth. Microfiber cloth works really good for this. And now as you can see, it is nice, shiny, and new looking. So that's definitely something you wanna do with your contacts. So say this was the bottom contact for my button. I'll also take off my top cap if you don't have a hybrid device. And same thing, you could see, very, very well patinaed. So. Take your pin out, do the exact same thing. And now my copper pin is nice and shiny. Also make sure that you do it on this side as well. Pretty much any part of the pins that are gonna be making contact with your battery should be nice and polished. So now both of these are good. You would just screw those back into your device and it would work perfectly. You shouldn't have any problems. Other things to make note of, same thing with the cuboid. So right here we have this pin, and I also ran into an issue where this pin actually had got some gunk on it and had popped in and was not allowing this to make full contact because this pin made contact right here to continue the current throughout this device. So one thing I had to do was clean this little tiny pin. Let's get in real close so I can show you. So this is the pin that I'm talking about. And this is stuff to you know notice on any other devices that you're using. Look for the parts that are going to make the circuit complete on your devices and make sure that those are always clean and in perfect condition. That way your device runs perfectly. All right, you guys, so that was a quick up close little 
explanation of how to clean and keep your contacts and batteries in optimal condition so that way your device will run smoothly. So if you do ever run into these problems where your device just won't turn on or it's just acting weird or it's giving you a bunch of issues saying that the, the atomizer's shorting but you know it's not and that's one thing to make sure to check on. Always, always check your contacts and check your battery contacts to make sure that they're nice, clean, and not covered with a bunch of gunk, which just happens. So there you go, you guys. Hopefully this was informative. Maybe you learned something. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, vape on.